Williams is underway. Let's see what she can do. She knows this course so well. And she's just such a confident paddler. Had a big Olympic Games, finished fifth in the final in the K1, which is pretty good form to be taking into this race. Gets around that one, just really cuts it fine, but I don't think there are any problems there for Stephanie Horn. And at this stage, she is all clear as she heads down towards the middle stage of this, ooh, of this course, 2.94, but that's okay. She can pick that up. She just needs to stay clean because Funk did have that two-second penalty. Here we go. Stephanie Horn now trying to make up a little bit of time here, a little bit of time there. Gate 13, that's where the touch was for... Oh, nice work for Steffi. That's where the touch was, so I think this time would have tightened right up now. Take that two seconds off, and you are right neck and neck with the gold medal at the moment. So Stephanie Horn, the crowd getting louder and louder as she heads down towards gate 18. Is she going to be okay there? Yes, she is. That was pretty good. It's going to be tight. She's under the time. She's under the gold medal time. She's sitting in the gold medal position, Stephanie Horn. Is she going to tip Ricarda Funk out of the top of the podium? Here she comes. 97.54 is the time for her to beat. She's nailed that last move it's going to be tight 97.54 i think she's going to do it she's done it stephanie horn takes the gold medal on her home course what a result for the italian what a result for the italian fans that's what you want to see when you come down here to watch your local paddlers paddle and stephanie horn delivers as she knows best well 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 Ricarda Funk. In the end, that gate touch. That gate touch is the difference because Funk's time was the fastest raw time on the course, but Stephanie Horn.